Neil, what are you doing next? Last time you were in London, you were promoting Cosmos, it was on Discovery, we're nine years later now, you're writing books. Actually, not- it, was, it was actually aired on Fox and National Geographic. Fox and National Geographic. Internationally on National Geographic Channel, yeah. And now you're writing books about things, not just science, astrophysics, which is really refreshing. What are you doing nine years from now? What else is on, what are on the cards for you next? Okay, so this book, by the way, uh, though it tackles civilization, my father was a sociologist, by the way, so I, my, my earliest sort of baptism into, into cultural baptism was exposure to what, how people treat one another and how they, um, and the bitterness that some exhibit towards others and how do you respond? How should you respond? My father was never bitter. You know, he grew up in, you know, the worst of times. Well, slavery was worse for sure, but relative to my life, his, his, there's no comparison to the struggles he went through growing up in America at a time he served in the armed forces. The army was segregated. That's kind of weird. You know, you're going to go out and fight Germans. Oh, but I'm, I'm not fighting them alongside you because your skin color is different. That's really like, what? Like, really? What? Okay. Oh, by the way, if we're going to divide, I don't mind dividing people by the identity however you're i don't mind that provided the act of doing so does not leave you ending up ranking people because of it if by dividing people you want to then rank them by how you've divided them this never ends well ever but if you like pepperoni on your pizza and someone else likes olives okay (laughs) that's the kind of okay you you like girls, I like boys, you like this, uh, you like some androgyny, I like this. If it's just who all we all are, then we could all live together and not pass judgment. That's the goal here. Don't say, let's be blind to all differences. No, because there are differences, and sometimes you want to celebrate those differences. You want to rank them. Uh Yeah. Those who do the ranking generally then pass a law restricting the freedoms of those who they've ranked below themselves. And that has been, is, and would continue to be devastating to the stability of a culture. So in nine years, I have a couple more projects that I feel very strongly about. Um, But they're still in the oven, so they're half-baked, and I don't like talking about half-baked things. Books. Because they're, why are you doing that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, Book, books really or films or series or more social stuff? I have a, a couple more books I have that I have in mind. And by the way, there's always this other, I have my podcast, Star Talk. Yeah, I know. Uh, that was very proud of that podcast. It brings science to the public um, with humor and pop culture and things that make you smile and laugh. And you're learn, you know, learn something for a change if you're spending time uh, otherwise doing nothing. And so uh, that's in his thir- 14th year right now. And uh, yeah, I have my co-host as a stand-up comedian and um, our guests can be celebrity guests where we learn something about their lives and then talk about the science that has touched their lives. So that's always fun. That's where you, you learn about the geek underbelly of some of, like for example, we recently lost a uh, David Crosby, uh, the 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 musician. I had him on Star Talk. Did you know? I don't know if you knew this. He he was a science fiction buff and read all the science fiction he could get a hold of before he ever penned his first musical note. <laughs> and I said, yes, this is, <laughs> there's some hidden geek underbelly that percolates among us. And so those are keeping you alive. Uh, and you like bringing comedy and entertainment into science. You've been doing that ever since I think the local news had you on and you realize that, you know, you got to capture people's attention to bring the message to them. And I think you love doing that as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's as Carl Sagan said, when you're in love, you want to tell the world. So it's really just the spillage of that emotion. <laughs> the book is Starry Messenger, Cosmic Perspectives on Civilization. It's a beautiful book, beautiful cover. Uh, what's the best way for people to get this? And then uh, what's the best way for them to follow you? 
Yeah, so it's been uh, simultaneously printed in the UK with, you know, you guys have a slightly different cover than we do, but it's all, uh, by the way, forgive the fact that we have American spellings in there, I think. We will. But yeah, you, you'll, you'll, you'll get through it. I think you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll survive it. Um, and it's, it's probably now in its 20th translation uh, um, around the world. So that's a good sign. And um, so it's a- available wherever books are sold. I mean, I hate to sound so cliched about that. But and certainly online, although not all countries have access to the same online merchant uh, merchanting that goes on. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm on uh, four of all four of the four major social media platforms. So uh, Facebook, Neil deGrasse Tyson, um, TikTok, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Instagram, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Twitter, where they're counting how many letters you use. We tighten that up to just simply Neil Tyson. Okay. And uh, my webpage, Neil deGrasse Tyson dot com. Uh, if you want accurate biography, that's where you'll get it. <laughs> so Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who wanna join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets, get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year's gonna be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. And let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you going to do? What's the choice that you're going to make?